yeah, this is another uh, piece of clothing that I found once I started being able to take all of my clothes out of storage. Uh, no, it is not weather appropriate. And also, no, I don't care because I love this dress. It's very cute. It makes me feel fancy and pretty. And that's a good thing to be wearing today and, you know, channeling today because what I made is not pretty at all. I will tell you more about uh, what I made and why it's not pretty in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for day 317 of 365 days of soap. And today we're doing another Nailed It challenge, and we're doing it in not soap form. We are using, actually, a bubble bar recipe. My bubble bar recipe to make it and uh, fashion it and do the things. And the reason why we're doing it that way is because we've been doing a lot of soap and soap dough. And so I thought I would sort of expand and see if I can get this done in other, you know, awesome soapy adjacent things. And spoiler alert, I didn't do a good job. It was a fail. But, you know, let's go to the video and we can uh, commiserate together, I guess. Okay, look at this. I am giving you a recipe and the recipe is good. So screenshot it. COT means cream of tartar. Also, that's chicken scratch. So it's the same recipe I've given you before. It's my favorite uh, bubble bar, solid bubble bath recipe. And uh, let that, what I end up doing with it, be no reflection on the performance of me really today because I am making you know, this on the, the left there. That's also an example of a fail from the same episode. So I, just as a spoiler, again, I fall somewhere between the brief, the, the pot of gold, which was made out of a cookie, and the fail, and probably closer to the fail, if I'm being honest. And uh, it's all an adventure that we're all going on together. But, you know, there were three little clouds. And so the first thing, after heating up my oils and adding my glycerin I and putting it into my dry ingredients, is I'm going to, you know, mixy-mixy and then press some bubble bath, solid bubble bar stuff into some molds and let it set up. And then I'm going to smashy-smashy and use a cutter that's supposed to be an owl but upside down, it looks like a pot for like a pot of gold. And the soap and clay kidlets actually went and found that cookie cutter for me and decided it was perfect. And so I love that. And also I'm going to be using some neons in, in this. And I normally wouldn't, but I got neons for a project that we are doing and a, a, a deep dive on neons and fluorescence. And I was excited, so I wanted to use them. And since this is just a one-off, I, you know, figured I could because reasons. Now, also, since it is a one-off, yeah, I'm not wearing gloves with any of this. I, I could have done so, but this was literally the only thing I had to make today. And I didn't want to dirty a perfectly good pair of gloves only for them to be thrown away if this was all I was making. So just 
Doing it here. It's not even going to be used by anyone. Anyway, after making the pot of gold, I then took some portions, six portions, of the bath bomb, bath bubble bar. Yep, that mixture. And, you know, colored them all to be the rainbow. Because we love the rainbow. It's beautiful. And in all actuality, these colors really are beautiful and fun. For sure. And I am just going to then layer all of these colors right next to each other in the rainbow order. And then smoosh them all together. And, you know, form a rainbow out of the things. So, that was the plan. And also, interestingly, because I thought this could be a really cute, like, visually appealing video. I set up my phone to record some of the shots like this, for example, to make a TikTok out of. And um, it's, it's sad that I spent that kind of time getting my phone out to record essentially a second camera angle suitable for TikTok. When, and you'll see why it's sad when you see the finished result. <laughs> Because it's not, it's not my best work, that's for sure. But it's very interesting because all of this actually ended up taking quite a bit of time. What with me going to find my phone and, you know, go ahead and record different angles and whatever. All of the things. And this bubble bar solution actually stayed really, really pliable for an incredibly long time. And I want you to remember that because in about a week, I am going to be showing you um, a certain bubble bar recipe that we are not allowed to make. And you will see, you know, how bad the recipe that certain people patented, you know, then. But yeah, look at that. It's so nice. It's so pliable. It's so cute. And you know, that's pretty. I could roll that up and have a really cute little bubble bar right there. Yeah. And just to give you a little, you know, insight into what I was doing and what I was working with. Yeah, you can see my phone down there in the in the shot. I, I was I was doing that, trying so hard to get a TikTok out of it. Now what I have done with this is I have spritzed the top of the pot. For the pot of gold with rubbing out with isopropyl alcohol not the same thing and i am painting it with a mica to make it black could i have just used you know black mica in the actual solid bubble bath you know stuff and made it black yes i could have yes i could have i did not i wanted to do it this way so you know there's that but yeah, this was quite the little experience here in that for this particular part, I couldn't stop touching the pot after I had painted it. And so it wasn't dry yet. Now, normally these things dry out really beautifully. And if you're doing like a you know, mica paint on technique here, it stays on and it's great. But I didn't stop touching it. And so the black was coming off and it was transferring onto the beautiful rainbow and all the things. It was such a, such a mess. I actually kind of complicated too, but you know, I actually thought this part here was going to be reasonably easy because I have my little rainbow going on here and all I'm going to need to do is take my dough scraper and just kind of slice a portion off to actually reveal more uniform layers of, you know, the reds and the from inside like that. Yeah. And that actually was pretty easy, but I didn't think this through in many, many ways. The first is I didn't make this on like a plate or a tray, so it could not be moved easily. Oh, there I am again, trying to get some more shots. That TikTok will never see the light of day. It's so sad for me. Really? But yeah, the, the biggest, you know, mistake I made with all of this at this point was I was not building this on a plate so I could move it. But again, as I said before, the reason why I am not gloved today is because this is the only thing I had to make. 
And so it was also okay for this to set up on the counter and dry out so I could then put it on a plate or a tray or something. And I'll be goddamned if I can't stop touching that pot and everything's just coming off. And then I touch something else with my mica stained hands. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. T touch the rainbow. Love that. Yep. Do that. Had to fix it as you could see. And I also had to go back and fix the black probably around four times. It was all very, very bad. It was a lot. And, um, I thought it was a very cute idea, but ultimately it, it, it just looks really funny, but I'm invested at this point and those clouds have got to be firm enough to put on the thing. So let's put that on and see the, the final product together. Shall we? I don't know. Like, actually, shall we? I don't know that I want to show this. I mean, I'm going to because that's part of the fun of doing these nailed it challenges. It's kind of boring if you're great at all of them. And so, you know, I showed you the, the, the Neanderthal one and how he was bad. And now I'm just going to show you this guy and how it's also bad. But, you know, it's a fun idea for sure. Also, you could never actually make this. Well, you could make it in bulk, but shipping this would be a nightmare. The way that I made it, nothing is going to stay on it in shipping. It is going to break apart, no matter how firm the actual bubble bar recipe gets. And it does get reasonably firm. By nature of a bubble bar being a bubble bar, it's meant to sort of break apart so it can crumble easy and, you know, be dispersed in tub water. So, yeah, you could never actually make this to sell it. But that wasn't the point. It was, it was a nailed it challenge and I, I did not nail it. I did fail it. And let's, you know, touch more of the white with my hands that have black mica all over it again. I love this for all of us. It, it was a journey. You guys, I don't know if it was a good journey, but it was a journey. It was a thing. And I thank you for coming with me on this. <laughs> not great. It, it's not great. And uh, interestingly, I picked this particular make to try to film little shorts for a TikTok video as well. And uh, it's not great. So that was fun. But you know what? It was fun. And the bonus of this, there's so many bonuses. The bonus is the actual uh, bubble bar recipe it stays super like pliable for a very long time so you can totally mix all your colors and mold things and shape things and sculpt things however you want thing is most people don't use bubble bar bars to like make and sculpt and mold so that was interesting but it was fun uh the bubble bar recipe itself it bubbles delightfully using the neons in a uh, cosmetic that was fun to do because we're not supposed to and so it felt very cool like i was a rule breaker or something but yeah no all in all it wasn't great but there it is it's a uh, one of the nailed it failed it's i suppose and i actually did still have fun doing it so that's i guess all that matters for sure. I have a couple more in the Nailed It series and the Soap and Clay Kidlets will be coming in to do uh, at least one more as well. So that'll be a ton of fun. So if you're interested in that, you know, subscribe. That's cool. For the Sudsers who are subscribed, hey, thank you for allowing me to go on this really fun Nailed It journey. It's been cool. And I appreciate you guys, you know, being down for it. That's awesome. I love that for me specifically. But, you know, if you enjoyed it, I love that for you. I'm actually out of here for today. I am going to go get the self and clay kidlets in so they can make their next nailed it. Looking forward to that. And I hope you guys are too. But I will see you guys all again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.